Why witness of Jesus sooner than later? Well, first of all, people are not promised a tomorrow. Proverbs 27, 1 says, Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring forth. If people die without warning, uh, their blood is on your head, that is the Christian's head. We are responsible to tell others about Jesus. In Ezekiel 3.18 it says, When I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, and you give him no warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life, that same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at your hand. Why would God give us such a warning? When God became a man, our Lord Jesus said, uh, Do you not say, There are still four months, and then comes the harvest? Behold, I say to you, Lift up your eyes and look at the fields, for they are already white unto harvest. And he who reaps receives wages, and gathers fruit for eternal life, that both he who sows and he who reaps may rejoice together. For in this the saying is true, One sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap that for which you have not labored. Others have labored, and you have entered into their labors. In Luke 10, verses 3 following, Jesus sent out 70 of his disciples. They went out two by two, and they went house to house. Jesus said, I send you as sheep among wolves. They went door to door to spread the good news of Christ. Your witnessing door to door warns the sinner of the error of his ways and tells him how to be saved. In addition, it keeps their blood off your hands. Recently, a, a pastor had an eye-opening experience. The pastor works out at a local gym every week. He met a 37-year-old man who looked like a bodybuilder. Over a six-month period, uh, the pastor used the approach of friendship evangelism. He was praying for the young man's father, who had been in a car wreck. Finally, one Friday, the pastor told his weightlifting friend, I'm preaching on David and Goliath Sunday. David trusted God to win. He didn't trust his own body strength. You have to trust God in this trial with your dad, for the young man's father was getting worse and not better. It was convenient to talk to this young man about his father, and the pastor said, I was comfortable speaking to him about his dad, but I was too cautious about speaking to this young man about his own spiritual condition. I was planning on doing that at a more convenient time. The 37-year-old man dropped dead the next day without being confronted with his own salvation. We never know what's going to happen. You would have thought the father of the 37-year-old man would have died first, but he did not. That is why we should tell people how to be saved sooner than later. The pastor's sermon on Sunday was witness and don't be cautious. Don't wait till you feel more comfortable. Just go ahead and tell them about Jesus anyway. Witnessing is not something you do when it's convenient. It's something you do intentionally. You have to go out of your way to witness and boldly step out of your comfort zone. Tell someone about Jesus and his power to save today. Until next time, remember to search the scriptures. Jesus said, they are they which testify of me. Thank you.